So I was just live answering DMs in the live cutoff. But what I was saying to y'all is, a lot of y'all females, when it comes to the monogamy shit, y'all couldn't understand my video because you don't understand what pressure is when I said you're pressuring a nigga to be monogamous or to pick you or to not be honest about what he really want. Y'all pile all that shit on, then you ask questions like, do you want to stay in this? Do you want to still be married? Do you want to? And deep down, a nigga really genuinely feel like they can't tell y'all the truth. Like they cannot. And the, the situation you put a person in when you're asking them to express how they feel is going to be affected by the situation and, and the shit that's going on. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Like, is there anybody that was on the live just now that don't understand what I'm explaining? For those of y'all that wasn't, I'll read y'all the inbox that this came up from, or the DM, I'm sorry. I'm so used to talking about Facebook. So one of y'all wrote me and said, hey, quick question. I know you probably get a lot of DMs, but I watched your take on monogamy video, and I'm wondering what you think of your man asking for a threesome with one of, of, with one of your best friends. But everything else about the relationship is fine. His excuse is not having seen her for a while. I know you made some points about how one woman cannot holistically satisfy a man most of the time. Is, where to, uh, is this where to draw the line? Somebody say these niggas for everybody. The choice is yours. I bet she created chemicals in his brain thinking about her man and best friend. Somebody say you be missing a good... What comment I missed? Recomment. I'm finna watch for it. I missed the monogamy video. What does it say? The monogamy video was everywhere. Somebody say she lying. What's she lying by? Somebody say I, draw, I say draw the line ASAP. Somebody say threesomes are cool, but it's the STDs for me. When a man tell the truth, why is it considered... A lie. He been had his eye on her. So do you believe in polygamy? People on here trip. I need a new starting five taking applications. <laughs> Somebody say draw the line. What about one? She clearly feel a way if she even had to ask. Must have done it before. Had his eye on her for sure. They probably don't have their basics talking about a threesome. They could have. They could have they, they basics together. And like the man want a threesome. Communication is the key, darling, with a situation like that. I'd be lost as to why she needed to ask this question. She asking because she trying to genuinely see if there's something she's missing. Like, this is why I, I came back live to like really make sure y'all understood. That monogamy video I made, a lot of y'all women did not receive the message in it. Like, it went over y'all heads legitimately. Even all of y'all on here right now, y'all like the nigga been looking at the girl, the uh, best friend. Oh, draw the line. Oh, this nigga blah. Oh, this nigga. The point of me and what I said in the monogamy video the advice that I would give her, <laughs> y'all be so quick to want a nigga to lock in and be in a relationship. Y'all be wanting to skip the dating process and you want relationship goals. Y'all be done watched all these people on Instagram, post all this stuff about their relationships, and y'all want to be married and y'all want to be, you don't want to learn the person. My point is, if this particular nigga in this situation would have told her when they first started dating that eventually I'm going to want a threesome and I'm probably going to want it with one of your friends and you. She probably wouldn't even want to be in a relationship with him. That was my point in the monogamy video that a lot of the shit that these niggas genuinely require in order for it to be just a relationship where all I focus on is her. She my lady, Sheila, I'm only going to fuck her, only going to think about her, only going to whatever. And like, men do not be being honest with y'all. And I don't mean like just, oh, they just be lying, just be lying, just be lying. Because some niggas do be lying. But I mean, like I was saying when the other live cut off, y'all will stack all this stuff on top of a nigga and then ask them to be honest. So y'all will put, I've been with you for these many years. I had your baby. I love you. 
I rode with you to a prison bed. I don't give you no problems. I ain't never cheated on you. You would say all this stuff first, like stack up all this shit. Then you would say, so do you want to stay like this or you want to leave me or you want to do you? Y'all will make it to where it's so much pressure. A nigga just, no, nah, I only want to be with you. Yeah, I want the relationship. No, I don't want to be with nobody else. Yeah, I want it. And then when you look at his phone or you catch him doing something, it don't match what he told you. And then y'all be like, niggas ain't shit. And these niggas be lying. And these niggas. But you ain't really seeing, like, the amount of pressure you stacking on before you allow a person to organically express what they really want. It's unrealistic to think you're going to ever get the truth. Somebody tell me, I want my relationship and I want it now. Yeah, that's how y'all be. Like motherfucking J.G. Wentworth. It's my nigga and I want him now. Then when you lock in and you got no idea what the nigga required. Now he right here to my, he want to fuck you and your best friend on the threesome. Because she ain't been around that long. Now you in love, Dorsey DMs trying to figure out, well, what should I do? Should I draw the line? Should I? No, bitch, you want that nigga to be your nigga. Do what requires to keep him. Keep the nigga. Relationship goes. Woo! Post. Fuck him. And your best friend. Let her eat your cat. Suck his dick. You lick her ass. Y'all get it going. Circle that shit around. Do your thing, girl. She's your nigga. And you wanted him now. Y'all want a nigga as quick as y'all want these stimulus checks. And y'all thought, just y'all thought in y'all whole heart. Oh, she made that video about monogamy because she think we supposed to let these niggas be polygamous and do all of this shit. And y'all like, like missing the whole point of what I'm saying. And baby girl who wrote me this DM, you draw the line where you want to draw the line. If you want to have a threesome, have a threesome. Whatever come along with that, you accept that. My point to y'all is, like, genuinely get to know a person before y'all just be so ready to call a bitch your man. Because when you lock in with somebody, you you got to take everything that come along with them. Or they don't take it, they're going to hide it. And you still it's still going to come along with them. Somebody's mom screaming. <laughs> what I did, bitch, I'm telling y'all the truth. Somebody said they're going to do it. Exactly. Y'all don't be realistic. I told y'all in order to be real, you got to be practical. A lot of y'all ways of thinking is not practical. Let me see another deal. Let me see who want to be added. I seen some of y'all request it. Y'all be requesting and then don't accept the invite. Hey, oh my god, I did not think you was gonna accept my request. <laughs> Quit playing. What you got going on? I don't have nothing going. I'm new to your page. I watch all your videos. I really love your advice. You be helping me a lot. That's what's up. I appreciate that. The support means everything to me. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for accepting me. But I sent you a DM because I wanted to know how I get a one-on-one. -on -one. I be hearing you talk about them. Okay, cool. When I get off of here, I'm gonna go through my DMs and I'm definitely doing some one-on-ones today. Okay, thank you so much. All right, babe, thank you. Thank you. So somebody said, I be watching you and you speak real facts. So I'm going to ask you, I was messing with this chick for four months and shit was all good. I was going to see her. She wasn't coming to see me because she ain't have a car. She wanted to be on the phone 24-7. I'm trying to start a business and work a nine to five. So I don't have time. I don't have all the time in the world to be on the phone. I'm trying to be independent, move on my own. Like you said, have my basics together. But then shawty pop out with someone new and I'm like, damn, what the fuck? I'm trying to work on myself. This what you do? Bro, I wish I could give you a hug right now. Like, I wish you, let me see, wait, let me look at your profile. Oh, your shit private. I wish I could give you a hug right now. Poor baby. Can y'all? <laughs> I, I, I ain't bro. I ain't laughing at you. But y'all y'all see how like. This is why I don't just do every single. Like I leave a lot of money on the table. Just to be blunt with y'all. A lot of people like. I ain't even exaggerating when I say thousands of people. Are trying to pay me for one on one counseling sessions. After doing like. 
20 and it be like the same advice over and over, I have to take a break. Like, this is the same exact thing I said earlier when I read the DM from the lady who was saying the nigga got corona, his baby mama got corona, you know, they got a strong bond, but he, he don't got no place to live, and she feel like he went in quarantine with his baby mama. Listen, you got to consider the season a person in in their life. Just reading this with just a surface mindset, just the average mindset like most of y'all, it looks like, child, she tripping. This man trying to work. She want to be on the phone 24-7. Like, it, it, it looks like this girl tripping. But when you walk, walk like me, she don't got her basics together. She in survival mode. People in survival mode, they don't make rational decisions. Sitting around all day on the phone seems like a great idea. This is the perfect mindset for a motherfucker that's in the situation she in. She's doing what she's supposed to do. Operating like a bitch who don't got their basics together. Bro, with what you trying to do and the goals you trying to accomplish, it wasn't going to work out with her no way. You hear me? Like genuinely embrace what I'm saying. Fuck that hoe, man. And I don't mean that in no degrading way to her. But bro, fuck that hoe. Like, when you get in a season that you in right now where you trying to, like, work your nine to five and get an additional source of income coming in on the side and work on you, man, fuck that bitch. You better go find you somebody that already got a car, got a job, and working on shit like you working on that where a bitch don't be fucking with you about getting yourself. Don't let these hoes take you down. Don't let a bitch like that sitting around. Man, let that girl stay where she at and her. She ain't wrong. She ain't wrong. Just like I told y'all, you got to really consider the season that a person is in. Some of y'all was not on the other live that I just did, so I explain it again. I could get on here and say, listen, y'all, I was coming out the grocery store. I seen this dude I know. That nigga was eating out the garbage can, bro. Like, I watched that nigga go in the garbage, take out a Burger King bag, start eating a half a sandwich that was left in that bitch. That shit fucked me up. And y'all would be like, ew, eating out the trash. Like, damn, what's wrong with that nigga? Or I could say, I was coming out the grocery store. I seen a man, homeless, look homeless, clothes was dirty, looked like he'd been walking for days, he had an odor, you know what I'm saying, looked tired. I seen him go in the garbage can, get a bag out, eat the sandwich out the bag like it was a half a sandwich. He, it wouldn't be an ill. It would be, it makes sense. For what season he in in his life, it makes sense that he eating out the trash can. He probably done already went around to all the soup kitchens, probably done stayed out his welcome in the little, you know, the little homeless shelters and shit like that. What he's doing makes sense for the season he in in the state of his life. What this girl doing and how she acting and want to be on the phone 24-7 and worry about what you doing, she ain't got no, like, it makes sense. Message. Y'all got to really be practical with y'all selves, bro. Your feelings might be hurt because you like the girl or whatever, but bro, move around. Move around. Keep focusing on your job and trying to get that business started on the side. Change your perspective on how you be looking at situations. People behavior be making sense when you be practical and real with yourself. What she wanted from you makes sense for the season she in in her life. It don't match up with the season you in. Be real with yourself and let that shit go. You hear me? And, and obviously... She like a little bit more clear on what I'm saying than you because when you wasn't matching up with the season she was in in her life, she went and got somebody else that did. She went and found her another nigga that's probably going to be all right with being on the phone 24-7. Move around, bro. Move around. Let me see. Definitely dodge the bullet. It don't match up anyway. Let me see who I can add. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you say your name? It's Duran. Duran? Yeah. How you say your IG name? Is it Akron? How you say it? Yeah, that's Akron? the city. Akron's VO underscore 21. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. What up, bro? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, I've been watching your page for a while now, right? And I really feel like a lot of people be on here thinking that you just entertainment. Right. But I'm going to be honest with you. You ain't lying about not a nothing you saying. <laughs> Everything you saying is pure facts. I don't care if people say you vulgar. I don't care if people say this, say that. You ain't lying about nothing. And I trust me, I'm, I'm good up here. You feel me? And and I'll trust me. I'm educated, call it all that book, all that whatever. You you ain't lying. 
you telling truth. It's just depending on people take it or not. I mean, exactly. it, it don't matter how they feel. I don't care emotions or emotions not logical, whatever. It is what it is. And you ain't lying. I, I swear, listen, it means so much to heal, like, and especially coming from a black man. Like, it means so much that you see past the entertainment. You actually on see, both like, sides, you say on both sides for the men and for the women. You ain't lying yeah. about nothing. Yes, like, it, but it, it means everything to hear y'all say that you really like see more in it than just entertainment. I, I was just saying to myself last night, like, boy, when mm -hmm. my page ain't a page on IG no more, a lot of people gonna be like, damn, I, I missed some videos. Uh, damn, like, damn, I, I I need this video to understand this or whatever. So I, I mean, I appreciate it. I oh, appreciate really? the support. I appreciate what 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 um what knowledge or advice you got to kick on here. I mean, not too much. I just wanted to let you and everybody else who's watching this know this ain't no entertainment stuff. This is real. This 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 is not just for shits and giggles. Because it's easy for people nowadays to look at stuff for shits and giggles because there's so much of it out there. Yeah. This ain't that. This is not that. This is real talk. Definitely. Now, if they wanted to receive it or not, that's going to be on them. They grown people. Right. But at the end of the day, you're not lying. I just really for your mentors, you you hunt it. You, you good. Right. You right. straight up. I be seeing like it be it be tough for some people to really like have to understand that you got just because like you know we weren't raised to think practical and really like embrace shit like this. We was taught to kind of like you know shove stuff under the rug, don't speak on certain stuff, be a victim of certain stuff. Be you know toxic, what I mean? like, just be toxic as hell. We are because we black. We black people from the same area. Look, I'm from Akron, Ohio. I ain't from where you from, but it's similar. Yeah. Everybody know it's similar. That's our culture. We come from that. It's a toxic culture, but it's ours. Right. So we definitely got to come up out of that. You not lying. You speaking facts. This is not shits and giggles and entertainment. I see. A, I just be looking at the comments. I'm like, see, yeah, right. you can tell who don't get it and who do. So <laughs> it's like, I'm just glad. I appreciate you. I appreciate Thank you what you. you're doing for our culture and our people. And I'm going to continue to watch and share because it's real talk. Period. I, pre I swear I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, man. I appreciate it. No doubt. Peace. Sure. Oh. That's love, man. Like for real, for real. I I love to see like when um when black men embrace my page. Like I really do. Like it means something because for me, I never want to be that person to be online and, and be one sided and like be a part of the dividing of my people. Like the dividing of black families and the culture and the whole black male against the black female or urban female against the black male. Like so, I love it. I love it when like it's not looked at as like, you know, oh, she for the females or oh, she for the... I love somebody that could be watch my content and be practical about, you know, what they seeing and what I'm saying. That shit means everything. And he was cute. Somebody said, it'd be so simple sometimes. People make their life harder by the decisions they make. You could tell. You could tell, right? You could tell, right, by people's actions, statements. They made definitely. That's definitely true. Somebody tell me I'm gonna cry in the car if you leave. I can't stay here, y'all. I'm gonna ask somebody else. Let me see if I can see all. I don't know who to add. I'm gonna add this person just because I've seen their inboxes. Let's see. Why say like simple? We make it hard. My brother put me on you. Hi. Hey, hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for adding me. Absolutely. So what you got going on? I think I seen your name a couple times in my DMs. I can't remember if I read it or not. Yeah. I I, I just want to say thank you so much because um, me being on your